Hey, what's up everybody? This is Benetron 817 Reviews coming at you with another video. And today, I'm going to be showing you a collection update. So here we go. So first I wanted to show you one of my custom figures I just did. This is Dispensor. And yes, he can actually transform. Albeit there is some parts forming involved, which is fine. But I'm just finishing up this part actually. I'm detailing the inside or whatever. And, you know, painting over the uh, duct tape. But it's really cool. Going to be the Mountain Dew vending machine. Here's his soda cannon on forearms. He's got silver highlights. He's got all these panels on him. Here he is from the back, so he cleans up pretty nicely. Very accurate, and I'm really happy with him. <laughs> so there he is there. And then we got Bruticus. We got Bruticus here, who is um, actually the Iron Factory, um, but it's that mold um, of uh, the Pocket Toys uh, Ruiner, Bruticus. So it's a legend scale Bruticus with Shockwave. I might be reviewing this. I'm not sure yet because there's some people that have reviewed it. It's kind of tricky to review. So, and it's hard to explain, but it's kind of tricky to review in some ways because, you know, it's hard to transform and, like, show everything on camera. And I have to do multiple parts. But it's not like... It came in one set, so it's not like how it came separately for Iron Factory. So I can't, like, review, like, one at a time. Like, I don't know what I'd call the video. I guess I'd call it Brawl, Swindle, or whatever. But that's not their actual names. It was like Spin Vulture, Booster Spear, um, Cannon Chariot, um, and things like that. And then you have Devastator here. So that's really cool. And I completed him. I won't be reviewing a video on Skipjack because um, he's the same as Rampage. So if you guys want to see it, go check out like MGOs or Optobotomus or anyone else's videos if you want to see that. Or um, yeah, go, go check out Prime vs. Prime, anyone like that. Um, but I will be getting the upgrade kit when that comes out from BBTS. Here's my Holy Grail, my Optimus Prime Studio Series. I mean, sorry, uh, Tribute, 10th Anniversary Optimus Prime with the Chrome. It looks amazing next to my Megatron from Movie 1, who still holds up really nicely. And my other crown jewel, my Dream Factory Starscream, who I will be getting the Studio Series version very soon of the We're Into the Fallen Colors, because I want that one the most, honestly. And then here is the... The Dragonstorm One Step Changer from the last night, Mega One Step Changer that my dad gave me this year. And that's that for the bottom shelf, pretty much. So there, I'll just give you one more quick glance at that. So there we go. And then up for the top shelf. I also did, I want to show you guys this. I got the Slave One, the um, 20th Anniversary Edition. <laughs> I'm so happy with this thing. It's so cool. But um, there's Forlom, Zuckus, and Princess Leia. And then Han Solo's in the cargo hold. And Boba's right in the ship there, as you can see. And anyway, so here's the top shelf where I got the Fallen. And I did glue his face on like I said I would. Um, back there is my custom Guardian Knight. Uh, Dragonicus, Storm Rain. My new figure movie, the best Megatron, who will be Max, Toy Hall. I might do that today or tomorrow. Um, Rampage. Soundwave, who I custom painted, by the way. I gave him some silver highlights and some little red stripes on laser beak there. And then Sound of himself has some gold accents. I painted these little bits silver here and they painted the woofers silver. And the crotch plate, I painted that red and then the crotch piece itself, I painted gold, like highlighted. So that's really cool. And then I got my custom hatchet, of course. Berserker, Brawl, Hunt for the Decepticons, or 8012, a Battle Blaze Optimus Prime, um, Crank Case, Jazz, oh Ratchet, who was in my next toy haul, because I got to do the, well, he might not be, but like he got this custom mech tech uh, weapon, because that's all there is to show, so I wouldn't, I mean, I guess I could do a redo of the figure review, let me, let, let me guys, uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below, if I should do a re-review re of, of this guy with the new weapon, the new power saw, so it's chrome now, because I broke the old one, and Optimus Prime, who I did, oh yeah, I gave him some silver highlights on his legs there. And I picked out those bronze and those uh, crotch, those little um, circle pieces that are on his crotch there. And then I also did, so he's, everything else is real though. Like he was painted silver like that, everything else, like the arms and everything. So that looks really amazing from the, uh, it's the Takara Movie Advanced Optimus Prime with the Fans Wanted Upgrade Kit, FWI uh, 6 I believe, Upgrade Kit. So I'll be in that, will be in my next toy haul as well. And then Breakaway. Uh, tuner mod flap, tuner skids, and blackout, and um, NPM 7 bumblebee. So I'll just show you guys that row real quick again. Mm 
There's Megatron's face. But anyway, yeah, that's pretty much all there is for my toy, to my toy update collection for my Transformers. So thanks so much for watching. I will getting, be getting some more surprise figures really soon. Well, I'll just tell you what they are. I'm getting Studio Series Ironhide, the upgrade kit, an upgrade kit, some upgrade kit. Like, it's not by 115 Workshop, it's a custom one. I think it's by Shapeways or something. Like, it's 3D printed by, um, um, for, um, Studio Series Starscream, who I'm also getting the 21 version. And then I'm getting an upgrade kit for Soundwave with his blasters, the 115 Workshop one. And then I'm also getting, yeah, Studio Series Ironhide, I think I already said, yeah. And uh, that's pretty much it. So that's what I'm getting next. But uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. This is, uh, this is Ben Tron 817 Reviews. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Peace out.